So I'm going to be working inside out math. Um, so anyways, if I look at this first one, I have um, 100 plus something equals 1,000. So I know my answer here is going to be 900. All right. And 100 plus something must equal 10,000. Well, that's got to be 9,900. Okay. So now, if I look, 900 plus something equals 1,100. That would be 200. And 200 plus 9,900 is going to be, let's see, 1,000, well, excuse me, 11,100. So there, I've done the first inside out problem. Um, let's look at one more. Let's look at problem five. This one here. So let's see. Here we start and we look, okay, um, something plus two and two thirds equals four. Well, one third would give me three, so D must be one and one third. Okay. Now, something plus two and two thirds gives me three and a six. So a third would give me um, three and a six more. And one third is two six plus one six is three six. So C must be a half. Okay. Now, a half plus what is two and a quarter. And let's see, that's got to be one and three quarters. And then one and three quarters plus one and one third. Well, let's see, I'm going to need twelfths here. So let's just off to the side make this one one and four twelfths. And we'll make this one one and... So let's see. I can do one more on the back here. Um, this is the second page. This is subtraction. We'll do one and if I look, 10,000 minus something is 8,990. So 10,000 minus 1,000 would be 9,000. And I need to subtract 10 more. So 1,010. All right. Then I can look over here and... That looks to me like it's 20,000 more than the other one. So this needs to be 20,000 more than the other one. So that makes that 30,000. Okay. And this is one less. So that makes this one must be 1,011. And that's going to make this one 8,000. 989. And there's the first one done. That one was easy. Let's look at number five. Number five, we have a half minus something is a quarter. Well, that's got to be one quarter. Okay. And let's see. Something minus a quarter gives me a half. Well, that's got to be three quarters. And let's see, three quarters, which is six eighths, minus one eighth would give me five eighths. 
Okay. And one half is the same as four eighths minus one eighth. So this is going to be three eighths. And there again is an in and out, inside out math problem done. And hopefully you're feeling like you've got the hang of it.